baby killer dead. Oklahoma's first execution in months, a success. And tonight we take you inside the death chamber. Good evening, I'm Jessica Shambach. And I'm Paul Folger. Charles Warner's 1997 crime took his life at exactly 728 tonight. That's roughly two hours after a brief delay by a last minute appeal to the Supreme Court. And we have video of our Morgan Chesky being taken to witness Warner's execution. He was one of only five journalists selected tonight to watch. Morgan is live in McAllister right now with what he saw. Morgan? Now, yeah, Paul, just 18 minutes. That's how long it took for the state of Oklahoma to go through with the execution of Charles Warner. That was a death the nation watched after a mistake officials wanted to make sure didn't happen again. And here in McAllister tonight, uh, state of Oklahoma officials going through many precautions after that botched execution of Clayton Lockett last April. Now, we can tell you tonight that that execution room featured several upgrades. Not only was the staff uh, better trained to enter those IVs into the arms of the inmates, but it also had new equipment and that room heavily upgraded from what Clayton Lockett experienced last April. Now, from the point in which we walked in and those blinds were raised, Clayton Lockett, I'm um, sorry, Charles Warner turned to his family and said several words to them, speaking for about two minutes, saying that he was sorry for what he did, but that he wasn't a monster and that not everything that was said about him was true. And then roughly two minutes after that execution began with that drug entering his body, his body began to go limp and he went silent before uttering the last words, We've all got to die. I'm not afraid to die. And then 18 minutes after those drugs entered his body, a person, a staff member whose identity was kept a secret from us, walked in and pronounced Charles Warner dead inside the prison here in McAllister. A uh, very surreal moment sitting there behind the mother and sister of that inmate, both crying uh, very quietly as they watched uh, that life being taken away from their relative there. Uh, much more to come in this story. We have a story we'll bring you shortly, uh, but Paul, just uh, very somber moments here in McAllister. I can imagine. Morgan Chesky, thank you for the update. Now, Governor Mary Fallon gave us a statement just a short time ago as well. I want to get to that about Warren's, uh, Warner's death. She told us, quote, justice was served tonight as the state executed Charles Warner for the heinous crime of raping and murdering an innocent. We also got another glimpse of the final hours of Charles Warner's life. The request for his last meal. Take a look. It was actually quite big. He asked for and received hot wings from KFC, potato wedges, a Big Mac, and a few other items.